And welcome back to the channel, Dan Who Reviews. My name is Dan W. Make sure you are following me on Instagram. Today we have come to the end of yet another hectic Marvel Legends wave. This summer has been cram packed with new Marvel Legends, but we are at the end yet again. And in front of me, a figure that I'm very much looking forward to building is, of course, Apocalypse M. Sabinor, I believe is how you say his name correctly. Now, all of these pieces come with different figures in the wave, so you need to get every single figure in the wave to have the pieces on the table, and then you can build your Apocalypse. So, to get these pieces on the table, you will need to buy Wolverine, Magneto, Gladiator, Sabretooth, Storm, Multiple Man, and Psylocke. Now, once you have brought all of the figures in the wave, you will have exactly what you see on the table in front of me, and we can build Apocalypse. So, uh, yeah, I always try and do this on camera, and I usually mess it up. So, let's try and do it, shall we? Head goes on. Oh, this, there you go. There's a separate piece already. I guess his collar comes off. Learn something new together. Okay, and there's plugs for the collar. So, let's put the head back on, make sure the collar's on. And let's, uh, let's do this, shall we? Um... Legs, I always put these on wrong. So that's your left, that's your left, that goes in, that goes in. And they're quite tight joints, but I'm happy with tight joints. Let's put his hands in, arms even. There you go, you can hear him clicking away. Click, click, click. Okay. And then he's got these pieces on which I'm assuming there's plugs for in the back of him. So plug, plug, and then plugs in the back of the arm. So they don't seem to be any particular shape, so I'm guessing any go in any hole. Way, that's what she said. And these two can go in there. At least I hope so. Let's put, try that one in there. Yeah, that one seems to fit better in there. That goes in there, I think. Oh, that seems to be backwards. Again, I know I always get these wrong. That seems to make more sense. Okay, so they're plugged in, plugged in. Let's have a look at him. Pow, and there we have Apocalypse all built up. I even got it right first time. Hooray me, because I always mess up the builder figures. But I've even put them on a fancy rotating base just so you can see how those pipes plug into the back and they don't seem to hinder his articulation at all. I really like the blue metallic on there. The rest of it just seems to be like a very simple black or a really dark gunmetal grey. Obviously his A symbols and a bit more chromish sort of silver, which I appreciate. The head sculpt I really like. I'll show you a closer detail in a minute. But I just thought I'd put the figure there just so we can see it in all its glory. Very happy to have a very important X-Men villain for the shelf. I never managed to get the Toy Biz version of the Apocalypse. So I'm happy now to have an updated Hasbro version. So let's get him off this rotating base and have a closer look. Okay, so obviously this guy isn't as big as the original Toy Biz builder figure. Uh, maybe one day Hasbro will do them again. But for now, he is about eight inches tall exactly. But he's still going to impose against your normal six inch action figures. Now, again, these pipes do not hinder articulation at all. As you can see, he's crunching forward. He's crunching quite far back as well, leaning back like the Terror Squad. And um, it doesn't affect at all. You can even move his arms all the way up and the pipes go with that hands, which is very nice. It's always frustrating when you get figures with nice accessories that, um, if you want to call them accessories, that um, always come apart or fall off when you're trying to put them in some poses. So it's nice that you can get this guy doing a almighty angry pose and those pipes are gonna stay in place. Obviously his head was buried in his collar there. But the articulation is quite good for such a chunky figure. These shoulder pieces articulate out of the way so you can get his shoulders quite far up. Not 90, but nearly 90. But um, yeah, very impressive. Lots of head articulation, even though you do lose some of it when he's buried in that uh, neck piece. But as I said, that neck piece is separate. You can pop it off if you didn't want it. But um, it is a very iconic sort of element to the character is when he's got his armor upgraded technology, biotechnology armor. Uh, this guy could quite possibly be the very first mutant, um, M. Sabinor, with his Egyptian sort of heritage. 
But yeah, I really like it. These separate pieces on the feet as well. I don't know what these are, but uh, I don't know if you can see them very well, but it's like separate pieces on the boot. I think that's there. So the boot, it's got ankle pivot. Yep, yeah, very good ankle pivot as well. So you can get, let's be honest, Apocalypse is doing some decent splits there. Glenn Webb would be proud of them. But um, let me zoom in and show you the detail on the face sculpt and uh, the rest of the figure. And there is a closer look at the head sculpt. Very angry pose with those red beaming eyes and those sort of metallic blue pipes around his lips and all the way up to his ears. Um, I quite like the head sculpt. I've seen a few people be negative online and swapping it with one of the old Toy Biz versions, but I actually quite like it, people. Um, yeah, it would have been good to get some different expressions. Faces, of course, but still, if you're only going to get one face for a villain, then it's got to be mean mugging, isn't it? So um, it hasn't got his iconic A on his collar piece, but as I've mentioned a few times, the collar piece does come off and that gives you a much better view of his head sculpt. And I said the articulation is pretty good all the way down and up quite far as well. So the articulation is good for such a big builder figure. So I'm always happy with them. And again, this collar piece will go back on, I hope. Oh, there you go. Move your head out of the way, mate. Yeah, it plugs back into pace. But if we bring it up, you can see that classic A for Apocalypse, of course. I don't know if you didn't work that out. Um, and those pipes in the back. And as I said, they're piped in quite quite well, to be fair. Like, um, you're going to have to tug them quite, quite a bit for them to come out. So I'm quite happy with the fact that they're not loose at all. And as I said, there's like some separate piece on the ankles. Don't know what they are, but they don't get in the way of articulation. And his knees can go up quite far. So, um, yeah, I'm obviously too close. Let me zoom out. So, overall, I'm very happy with how this Apocalypse come out. But if you are still curious of who Apocalypse is, then I guess this would be the perfect segment to ask the question. Apocalypse. Who is he? So this is the part of the video where we ask the question, who is he? And I try and give you a little bit of information about the character. This figure is inspired by. So Apocalypse, who is he? Real name M. Sabi Nur was born in Egyptian times and could quite possibly be the world's first mutant. He made his first full appearance in X Factor number six in July of 1986. He lay dormant for centuries after finding alien tech and using it to enhance himself. Immortal, intelligent and in complete control over the molecules of his body, he can change to any size or form and even change his limbs into weapons. With the mentality of survival of the fittest, I think it's safe to say that Apocalypse is not just a threat to the X-Men, but to everybody in the Marvel Universe. So there you go, I hope that helped. Again, I do not claim to be an expert, but it is nice to have a little bit of information about the characters these figures are inspired by. Now, of course, Apocalypse didn't come with any of her accessories apart from what we already see on the figure. But let's be honest, this guy could have had endless accessories, as in the comics, he is known for changing his form, using his technology-ridden body to create weapons and whatnot. But we didn't get any more accessories. That was until San Diego Comic-Con 2018, at preview night, they showed off an Apocalypse Builder figure, but with a claw hand. What did this mean? A lot of people speculated that it could be accessory packs, but I, I did actually say uh, in one of my videos that they won't be doing accessory packs. If we're gonna get new accessories, it will be with new figures, and that is exactly what they did. And at the Hasbro panel, they actually revealed a brand new Archangel figure. He is, of course, a former horseman of the Apocalypse. I think he was death. But uh, yes, we are getting a re-release of the Archangel figure. He comes with some interchangeable heads. And that is, of course, where we are going to get this claw for Apocalypse. So there are more accessories to come, at least one more. Maybe we'll get, we'll get other figures with other accessories. That will be a nice trend. And I hope Hasbro do do that. Um, but uh, that is it for now. We're getting a claw accessory. But until then, this is all we've got, but he still looks very menacing. So let's pull in some comparisons. Another X-Men villain. That is a very good builder figure. Probably one of my favorite X-Men builder figures. It is, of course, Juggernaut. Um, this figure is probably very sought after, especially after Juggernaut's appearance in the recent Deadpool film. Let me just move the camera up a little bit because these two are very tall but they do look very good together. Juggernaut does, however, stand a little bit taller than Apocalypse. Um, but let's be honest, Apocalypse could go taller if he wants. He just doesn't want to. He doesn't want to change. Let's bring in some X-Men. Let's bring in some tall X-Men, just so you can see that Apocalypse still stands taller than them. So there is Colossus, who is no slouch himself. 
and Apocalypse is of course still taller. Let's bring in another new recent X-Men from the Sauron build a figure wave and it is Bishop. And even Bishop looks quite small compared to Apocalypse so that's always good to know. Let's bring in some average size Marvel Legends. Now ignore his bloody ankle rock of things they do my head in but there is Cyclops. And let's bring in Wolverine. So let me move these down a little bit. So as you can see, Wolverine only goes up to a whoops. Only goes up to trust you're not going over, they all fall over. Um but I think these all look great together. Apocalypse doesn't need to be massively too tall for these guys. It, this is gonna look much better on your shelf um, for like a standard static display than that other massive apocalypse on Toy Bid Days, in my opinion. I'd have nowhere to put it. But uh yeah, this is uh, really good. So I could do a comparison all day, but that would take me ages. So let me just pull in the rest of the figures from this wave. So let's bring the X-Men over here. Obviously, Multiple Man, Wolverine, Psylocke. Let's get Psylocke to stand. She nearly fell over on my last video. And again, this is the blue version of Psylocke. I do want to get hold of the purple hair one to have a little bit more accuracy, but I still like this figure. Still one of my favourites of the wave, just because I like the character. As I said, she's British after all. Let's bring in some more villains. There we have Magneto. Again, I like this figure. Just wish it was on the purple and red body mould. We've also got Storm. Storm can go over here. She's dropping her accessories and everything. You can stand next to Psylocke. Um, well, there's a, there you go. I was missing Sabretooth. And there's also Gladiator somewhere. There he is, he's behind me. So there we have the full wave for this year's X-Men wave. And it is another solid wave. Every time Hasbro release an X-Men wave, it does not disappoint. This one definitely doesn't. Very happy with this wave. Very happy for their choice of build a figure. And it includes the best Marvel Legends Wolverine you're gonna get. But a very good wave. You let me know what you think in the comments below. What are your favorite figures from this wave? Do you think Hasbro are going to give us any more accessories for Apocalypse? If they are, what would you like them to be? Very curious to hear your thoughts in the comments below. But as always, people, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell for all content from this channel as it, the summer's not slowing down. I've still got all of the Marvel Studios 10-year anniversary figures to review, plus a couple of two-packs. So still plenty of stuff to review on the channel. But for now, the Apocalypse Builder figure has arrived. And uh, yeah, very, very happy. So until then, people, I shall see you on the next one.